As the American ambassador, what are you currently doing to make a difference in the youth's lives within Zimbabwe? Uh, we've supported UNICEF's uh, textbook program to, to increase the number of textbooks available in the school systems here. And in addition to that, we have some individual funds where we go out and on our own get, get books for reference books for, for schools. So there's a, there's a number. We have uh, a program that was created 10 years ago in the embassy here called the U.S. Student Achievers Program, where we provide full scholarships to universities and colleges in the U.S. for a number of needy uh, young Zimbabweans to go and, and do their higher education. I think this year we're going to be doing 28. Uh, and uh, the, we have a very uh, large program of support to the, to the health sector here to try and help create a, a healthier environment so that, that, that you and those younger than you can, can actually maintain the physical health you need to, to achieve your dreams. Uh, and, and we've been very lucky in that regard. We were, this year, the only embassy in Africa to actually get an increase in our health programs where everyone else got cut, we actually got more money than we got last year. Uh, and not just in HIV AIDS, which everyone knows about, but also the other infectious diseases. We work with the, with the hospital system here to help uh, reinvigorate the national laboratories. Uh, we, do, we do leadership training with the Ministry of Health. I think health. the most important thing we do is to try and stay in touch with the young people here to get some sense of the picture, the vision that young people in Zimbabwe have for the country, and then see where we can fit ourselves into helping them achieve it. And in the end, though, what we do to help you build a better Zimbabwe is far less important than what you do to build that Zimbabwe yourselves.